growing futures. That's a common goal for our guests, though most acknowledge the difficulty of achieving dreams if you struggle to get a financial foothold. Research shows that teaching personal finance to kids can help close the wealth gap. One online duo making inroads with financial literacy is Kyron Gibson and his nine-year-old son, King. The videos posted by these two entrepreneurs are such a hit, they've attracted more than 300,000 followers on Instagram. They've also authored a popular and highly rated financial workbook, the Generational Wealth Building Activity Book, geared towards kids. Our correspondent, Laura Chavez, caught up with King and Kyron in Asheville, North Carolina, to find out how they got started and why. Hey, big dog, you ready? Daddy, I stay ready. You lost. No, you lost. All right, big boy, give me some love. Uh, uh. I met King and Kyron on an easy Sunday morning at the Asheville Community Association. I felt like I already knew them because they're the same cool guys in person as they are in their popular videos. What's a secure loan? Using, cl for using Clara's help you for loan. Come on. I almost got this. In their online presence, King and Kyron, Kyron teaches and quizzes his nine-year-old son, King, on money and fiscal terms. Ownership, that's the, that's the most important thing. In the black Something he I also know. does when they're not making videos. Is it a surplus or shortage when it comes to PS5s? Shortage. Because we haven't been able to get one because there are... It's a shortage of them. It's not that many, right? That's why it's more expensive. And that's why it's what? More expensive. Exactly, that's, and that's supply and demand. For so big dog. Their fun, casual videos made them online powerhouses when it comes to teaching kids. So what we gonna do, son? Exercise. Yeah, we do. We gonna exercise. Everything I do is make sure he's better than me. I don't want him to be nothing like me. I want him to times two me. And then I want his kids to times two him. That's, that's the mission, you know, breaking generational curses. Why do you think you are resonating with so many people in this world of financial literacy? I can't really answer that, but I can say, you know, for my people, you know. Systemic racism is true and it's real. It's real as day, it's clear as day. But at the same time, I'm not going to sit there and let that hinder me to stop doing what I'm doing or stop doing what we got to do. <laughs> I'm scared. I have to create my own way to try to help our people and also, number one, help myself and my son break it. <laughs> Growing up where I'm from, you know, when you see a lot of money like that, <laughs> it's either you're selling drugs or you're dribbling the basketball, playing football, or you're a rapper or a singer, you know. And I always, you know, thought, how can I break the cycle where I can be that on that level in another way? And in the black community, you don't see a lot of us owning. And that's what I'm doing with my son first and whoever watches, you know, I hope I can do that with them as well. Parents, as a reminder. With curiosity peaked, we wanted to see how King and Kyron's target audience of kids interacts with money. EJ? Unsupervised. Lucia, Sehana, and King. Kids, let's go. So we ran an experiment. We put five kids in a toy store, gave each of them 15 minutes and $20. Three, two, one, shop. The rest was up to them. I definitely want this. Knowing that this was their money, the kids were shrewd shoppers. So you're at $20.96 with this one. Wait, take this one away. After they checked out, we sat down together, and Kyron talked to them about budgeting, saving, and how money can work for them. So would you guys prefer to have you had a chance to redo it over? Would you have kept the $20 to save up later on for a draw, or would you rather have just bought what you want to do? I probably would have, like, gotten while the kids were happy with their purchases, they were also thinking about money differently, just like Kyron hoped. Because it's cool being with Smart. Exactly. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Maya Angelo. In Asheville, North Carolina, I'm Laura Chavez for the Matter of Fact Listening Tour.